Hello, welcome to the Ingleside Public Library Storytime. Today we'll be reading On Chinese New Year, written by Judy Soki, illustrated by Rebecca Wallace. On Chinese New Year, you might decorate your freshly cleaned house. It is customary for Chinese people to clean their homes before the New Year's holiday. This symbolizes sweeping out the old and welcoming in the new. With fresh flowers and scrolls, Chinese families, families decorate their homes with flowers that blossom at the time of the new year. These flowers represent rebirth and new growth for the coming year. Families also hang red scrolls or banners with expressions of good wishes on doors and walls. Then you put out some sweets in your prettiest bowls. On Chinese New Year, you might put on new clothes. To prepare for the holiday, many Chinese people purchase new clothes, get haircuts, and repay any money owed. These activities symbolize new beginnings. And buy some oranges to give away. People often bring a bag of oranges or tangerines with them when they visit family or friends during the two week long holiday. These fruits symbolize wealth and good fortune. Then you go visiting friends and family all day. On Chinese New Year, you might receive a red envelope. Parents, grandparents, and close neighbors usually give children and young adults red packets containing money to symbolize the giving of good fortune. In China, red is regarded as the lucky color. And sit down with your family for a feast. Special foods are prepared for the holiday. Most dishes that are served have symbolic meanings. Whole chicken and whole fish represent togetherness and prosperity. Noodles represent longevity, and sweet steamed rice cakes symbolize a rich, sweet life. Then you honor your ancestors who are deceased. On Chinese New Year, you might hang out a lantern. The Lantern Festival occurs on the day of the first full moon of the new year. The day's most important activity is looking at lanterns. Decorated lanterns are hung everywhere and people carry them to an evening parade under the light of the full moon. And watch the dragon parade pass by. The Chinese to the Chinese, the dragon is a symbol of strength and goodness. At the end of the parade, a team of people holding up a huge colorful dragon will dance down the street as a way of wishing everyone good luck. Firecrackers are set off throughout the holiday to scare away evil spirits. Then you cover your ears as firecrackers explode in the sky. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. It's available at the Ingleside Public Library. See you next time.